McDonald's takes yet another shot at trying to compete with Chick-fil-A. Yes, hello and welcome to New Fast Food. Today we've got brand new test items to talk about from McDonald's and Dunkin' Donuts. Plus we've got a bit of fun KFC news to get to as well. If this is your first time tuning in, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Plus you'll also want to hit that notification bell so therefore you'll always be notified when I release new videos. We're going to start off with McDonald's. They're testing a brand new chicken sandwich and chicken tenders. They're calling these the ultimate chicken sandwich and the ultimate chicken tenders. These new chicken items are meant to compete with Chick-fil-A. We'll get to that in a second, but first of all, they're quite a bit different from what McDonald's already offers as far as chicken goes. Uh, the breading on both of these is quite a bit thinner uh, than on the McDonald's current buttermilk uh, chicken sandwiches and buttermilk chicken tenders. But the real difference here is that these new items, both the ultimate chicken sandwich and the ultimate chicken tenders, are cooked to order. So the cooked to order quarter pounder with cheese has been very successful for McDonald's. Um, so here we see them trying their hand at cooked to order chicken. And as far as the sandwich goes, the look and feel here is much more similar to the McDonald's classic chicken that they offer right now uh, than it is their buttermilk chicken sandwich. Even though this would come on the artisan bun and not the regular buns that the classic chicken uh, right now is sold on. So the sandwich comes with the chicken, the artisan bun, pickles, and then there's some sort of a mustardy sauce. You can see a picture of it right here, and even though it's a mustard sauce, it really looks like it has probably more mayo in it than mustard. These pictures, by the way, are coming from fastfoodnutrition.org. They got a chance to test this out. It's testing up in Washington, Northern California, and also Louisiana. They did note that that mustard sauce is on the sweet side, uh, so it's likely some kind of honey mustard sauce. And you can see here that the chicken patty that they use here is actually pretty thick. Um, looks like it's more thick than it is wide. Uh, kind of reminds me of the crispy kernel, um, even though you know that one's obviously a lot more crispy. This one has a really thin, as you can see here, this is a really thin uh, breading layer, really very similar to what you would see over at Chick-fil-A. The chicken tenders uh, also, they have the same type of thin breading on them that you know you may see at Chick-fil-A. So McDonald's has really taken a swing here at trying to compete with Chick-fil-A, and for good reason. Chick-fil-A has pretty much opened up a brand new segment of the market, which is you know restaurants that just sell chicken sandwiches, and McDonald's sees that as a huge opportunity to get a piece of those sales as well. I think that's more the case rather than McDonald's trying to compete and actually you know like put Chick-fil-A out of business or something. Um, I think they really just see it as an opportunity. You know, all these people that love Chick-fil-A sandwiches, if we've got something that's very similar, maybe you can get them from us instead. Now they've done this before. McDonald's previously had the Southern style chicken sandwich. That I loved, by the way. I thought that was pretty close to a Chick-fil-A sandwich and I'm, I'm really sad that they took that one off the menu. And then of course this classic chicken sandwich that they offer right now, that's sort of a similar, but really you know, it's kind of like more like a budget version of a Chick-fil-A sandwich than it is a real competitor to a Chick-fil-A sandwich. So I, I'm glad to see McDonald's uh, bringing back a sandwich that's meant to compete with Chick-fil-A. This is really cool. It's gonna be uh, cooked fresh to order. I actually had a McDonald's grilled chicken sandwich uh, cooked to order one time, and they have a little no salt checkbox in their app. So I ordered the uh, grilled chicken sandwich with no salt, and the manager came out and said they're gonna have to cook me a fresh one. It's gonna be nine minutes. Um, so. <laughs> These ones, obviously they're fried, they're not going to take nine minutes to cook. Uh, probably more something in the two and a half, three minute range to get one of these bad boys. I mean, like I said, these pictures came from fastfoodnutrition.org. And I don't want you to be turned off by the appearance. You know, it kind of looks like the sandwich is burnt here. But I really don't think that in reality, the sandwich is going to look quite that burnt. It kind of looks like here that they've put these pictures through some sort of Instagram filter or something like that because it really just doesn't look natural and it really looks like uh, as I scroll through the filters on my Instagram, it looks like it's pretty close to some of those that I've seen before. Now the name here is kind of interesting, Ultimate Chicken Sandwich. Um, I wouldn't expect that to be the name that they go with if this or some version of this does come nationwide and that's because Sonic just three years ago had what they called the ultimate chicken sandwich on their menu. Uh, they no longer have that. But I think the fact that the name was already used by a competitor three years ago, and also it's just sort of kind of a generic name. McDonald's typically has a little bit more creative names when they come out with new products. So this is the cook to order ultimate chicken sandwich from McDonald's. It's testing now in Washington, Northern California, and Louisiana. All right, keeping with the theme of test items, Dunkin' Donuts has a couple of new ones. These are the Dunkin' Bowls, and you see they're basically breakfast bowls. We've seen breakfast bowls at other places before. These ones are pretty unique in a sense that they don't, don't seem to have any carbs in them. At least this sausage pepper jack cheese one. Um, actually, the second one here is the spinach, potato, and cheddar, 
egg white scramble. So of course that one's got potatoes in it. That one's not going to be low carb, but that one's got the egg whites in it. So that one's healthier in that regard. So I guess it's kind of a pick your poison kind of thing. Uh, either you get the no carbs, but it's got the sausage and the uh, egg yolks in it, um, or you get the egg whites, but it's got the potatoes in it, uh, which shoots your low carb diet in the foot. These new bowls have not been officially announced from Dunkin' Donuts as even a test item, uh, but they have been spotted in the greater Philadelphia area and they were spotted on Facebook. Uh, there was a Facebook ad running for them uh, that someone screenshotted and then quickly uh, Dunkin' stopped running that ad. As far as breakfast bowls go, these look like, even though they're from Dunkin' Donuts, look like they're probably gonna be on the healthier side, uh, despite that sausage being in there. Uh, it's better to have you know just sausage than sausage and tater tots and all this other stuff crammed into your breakfast bowl. One thing that's a little bit concerning here is the size of the bowl. This marketing image doesn't really do a good job of showing how big of a portion that you get. And in fact, the leaked image that we have uh, doesn't show any price for it either. I would suspect that these probably are, are in the $3 range. And I would think that they're a, a decent size, but probably not a huge bowl. I'm just guessing, because the angle here is kind of weird, but I'm thinking that bowl is probably not as deep as it's made to look in this picture here. I think these are something that I would like to try. Uh, if they were in that $250 to $3 range, I think that'd be a pretty good value, but I'm pretty sure they're not like whipping this stuff up on a flat top grill or something. Uh, I don't know if it comes and they microwave it or how things work, uh, but they do look pretty interesting. And I think definitely worth a try uh, if they were available in my area. Again, right now it looks like they're only available in the greater Philadelphia area. Sounds very similar to the area that they tested the donut fries in earlier this year. And of course the donut fries ended up coming nationwide. So we'll see, maybe these will get the same treatment. They're the Dunkin' Bowls testing right now at Dunkin' Donuts. All right, this next bit of news is just kind of fun. Colonel Sanders' birthday is coming up, it's September 9th, and for it, KFC is running a contest where the first baby born on September 9th, whose parents choose to name him or her Harland, will win $11,000 for their newborn baby. Harlan is of course the first name of the late Colonel Sanders, so basically by naming your new baby after Colonel Sanders, you're gonna get $11,000 if, if you're the first one to do it. One thing to note is that they're going off of Eastern time, so if you're on the West Coast and your baby's born the night before at say 9.01 p.m., that actually qualifies as being September 9th on the East Coast and so you would be eligible to win that $11,000 if you name your baby Harlan. On the website that they have made up for this, they have sort of a fake birth certificate uh, for baby Harlan. I'm actually not somebody who gets creeped out a lot by most things, uh, but this f fake birth certificate is kind of creepy. First of all, the baby is kind of creepy with those glasses and the facial hair. And then another creepy thing is that it's got this little kind of stamp here that says it's approved by Colonel Harlan Sanders. And of course, Colonel Sanders is dead, so I'm not sure how he's stamped his approval on this birth certificate. And the last thing that's just kind of weird is that it's got this corporate seal here, and it says Kentucky Fried Chicken Corporation, Delaware. So I'm, I don't really know how Delaware plays into Kentucky Fried Chicken, um, but you know somehow they chose to put Delaware on there and approved by Colonel Sanders and facial hair on the baby. But if you can get beyond that, and if you can get beyond naming your newborn baby Harlan, which actually, in my opinion, Harlan's not that bad of a name for a baby. If uh, if my baby were um, due to be born around September 9th, I would definitely consider um, naming him or her Harlan. I actually have um, a good friend of mine who his wife is due right around there, um, and I floated this out to them, and I don't think they're gonna do it. But no doubt, somebody will. Somebody's gonna name their baby Harlan, probably several people, actually, um, but one of them's gonna win that $11,000, and I think, I think it's gonna be well worth it. So that's today's fast food news. Thank you so much for going over it with me. Leave your thoughts down below on anything we talked about today. And as always, you can check out more videos right now. <music>